hey, this is loser film. And at 4 or 5, if it's ever going to happen or go into any sort of development, they need to make some serious changes and do an overhaul with the 4 franchise in general. Some people need to go. And first and foremost, one of the people that need to go is Taika Waititi. He's detrimental to the Thor character. He doesn't understand what he's doing and he doesn't care about the Marvel comics at all. Or the fans in general. That's why Thor Love and Thunder was so rejected and so many people disliked it. Even critics didn't like Thor Love and Thunder. And that's saying something because critics like literally every MCU movie and love being shills for Disney themselves because then they're scared to give bad reviews to any movie Disney releases. So therefore, if Taika Waititi is gone, maybe that gives hope that the fifth four movie can go back to the way the first couple of four movies were like and what people like in the four character and when it comes to what the four movies can actually offer if you have the right person directing and actually writing them but also we need to sort Chris Hemsworth out he actually has to act as Thor and not play this comedic aloof as the Thor character that does not work at all so if he's not going to try then get rid of him because lady four definitely apparently worked in for love and thunder that character was one of the standouts in for love and thunder so maybe bring natalie Portman thor not only back from the dead but in a major role for the fifth four movie but making sure you write her wow and not in a feminist or woke way at any time but also you can get rid of a few characters a Korg can go Valkyrie can go and you can bring in characters that worked for the four franchise like maybe bring back Loki bring back for example Lady Sif in a bigger role all these things made the four franchise successful and more of the old works than the new and I know we don't know if a fifth four movie is ever going to happen, even though technically it was set up with Four Love and Thunder. But I think it's very important that Kevin Foggy and Disney listen to this kind of stuff because clearly people are telling you something with Four Love and Thunder. So rather than ignore the criticism, if you want to make a four or five, listen to it and do it because then the fifth four movie can maybe put the four franchises back on track and it can make the four character very popular once again. Because I think when it comes to the four character, there's a lot of money to be made on the table when you do it right. But they're not getting that money because they're doing it wrong and they did it really wrong with Four Love and Thunder, which was hated with a passion and didn't do well at the box office. And there's a reason for that. But then again, Kevin Foggy seems to not like criticism and not understand it. So I don't see him doing this. I do feel like if they make a fifth four movie, Chris Hemsworth's going to fight really hard and act like a diva to keep Taika Waititi attached for the fifth four movie. But also, they're going to do everything wrong with the fifth four movie that they did with Four Love and Thunder. And more people are not going to see the fifth four movie for that reason. And more people are probably going to dislike it. So I'd love to hear your comments below of what you think about Disney and Kevin Foggy and what they need to do to make a fifth four movie work and who they need to actually get rid of and what they need to capture again with the four franchise in general. Also be sure to click that subscribe button, give this video a like and click that notification bell to support this channel. So thank you for watching and it's goodbye from me for now.